I'll buy you a diamond ring, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. I'll get you anything, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. Cause I don't care too much for money, cause money can't buy me love. Give you all I got to give, if you say you love me too. I may not have a lot to give, but what I got, I'll give to you. I don't care too much for money, cause money can't buy me love, can't buy me love. The level of taste in Europe is very high, but the purchasing aspect of it is quite conservative. So, when you go and uh, do projects in other parts of the world, like Dubai and um, India, etc., there seems to be a spirit of experimentation that is very wholesome for the future of design. And uh, that's why a lot of people love to work on projects like that. I don't care too much for money, cause money can't buy me love. If you say you love me too I may not have a lot to give But what I got I give to you I don't care too much for money Cause for money, money So you don't need no diamond ring I'll be satisfied Tell me that you want the kind of things That money just can't buy Cause I don't care too Hello, Budapest. And with a love like that, you know you should be glad. You know you should be glad With a love like that You know you should be glad So, good morning. I'm Susanna Mastelli making an interview for Office Line today at Budapest. I would like to welcome you. Uh, the question is, why Arne Rosenek and Technion chose Budapest? Well, actually, there are many reasons why we're here in Budapest, and um, I guess the first one is um, every year we do training with our dealers and uh, uh, seminars with our dealers, and this year we decided to go to a place that in Eastern Europe, and um, when looking in, at the marketplace for potential and growth potential, we decided that Hungary would be our choice for it, and we brought in dealers from all over Europe here to have this training session with Technion. Um, another um, important reason was that we were looking for an opportunity to present some of our new products into the marketplace and it's the first time it's being presented here and uh, what an opportunity to have with us uh, um, a person like Carl Magnussen. Uh, uh, he is a renowned architect and uh, um, designer of uh, office uh, furniture uh, and uh, also a friend at times. <laughs> no, but a friend and uh, we've traveled together before and I, I have a lot of um, esteem for his capabilities and uh, he has worked very hard with us on a new product that he brought to us that he was uh, conceptualized and designed in marketplace and we think it's going to have a huge impact on the worldwide marketplace and in fact uh, uh, Hungary is the first place we're showing it here in Budapest. Um, the third reason would be to show good support for Office Line, our dealer here. Um, they have been working hard in the marketplace. We feel they deserve the support that they need. And I think it's a chance to show the local community, the architects, designers, that Technion is 
very much behind what they're doing, their activities. And uh, yeah, last night we had a, a very nice uh, event where uh, we were able to present uh, Carl Magnuson and his capabilities and Technion's wonder wonderful new product lines as well. And um, again, supporting Office Line and all their activities here. And I guess the, the last reason, but by far not the the, the final reason or the uh, um, is that it, it gave me a, I, I travel all over the world I've been to almost uh, every country you can think of except Hungary and it was the first time for me to come here and um, I came with no expectations really I wasn't sure but uh, what a beautiful city Budapest is I understand a lot more about the history um, uh, the Danube I mean right in the middle uh, and it's just so um, everything is so cleaned up, so nice, the bridges, everything, the buildings, renovation going on. And I really do sincerely believe this is going to be a, a cultural and tourist center of uh, in very, very soon. And, uh, and it's just beautiful just walking around. What a wonderful country you have. You know what it is? To me, uh, anything you get involved in, whether it's furniture, um, design, or, or maybe just uh, cleaning the streets, it's about a passion. And if you have passion for whatever you're doing, you're going to be successful and you're going to be happy. And I also believe it's a nice combination of working hard. You have to work hard, but you also have to have fun and laugh in it. And I think that uh, the dealership here has that capability. They have a passion about the furniture. They have a passion about the marketplace. They want to bring design into Hungary and, uh, and into Budapest, hopefully. Say. And it's a matter of making that breakthrough with the design community and letting them know the passion exists within us. When that happens, we're all going to be successful, and, I, and it's going to happen. I see it in the people that I'm meeting, I see it in the dealership, and I know it's in the product as well. Superb. Thank you very much for Arne Rizneck from Technion. I think that we will see you next year or maybe in the next two years in it Hungary. Will be, it will be sooner. <laughs> Thank you very much and Thank goodbye. You. Welcome to Car Gustav Magnusson, to Budapest, to Design Hotel, to the Office Line event. We have some questions to you. What do you think about our city and about our country? Well, it's first of all, it's a great pleasure to be here again. The city is spectacular. The hotel is wonderful. I'm uh, very honored and pleased to be able to spend some time here. Uh, a question about design and innovation. In Berlin next week at the German Design Conference, I'll be presenting my uh, show called uh, Innovation is a Unique Combination of Existing Ideas. Thank you very much. You think that a dealer meeting is important for the dealers to see the real designer and to, see, to hear your words, or it's some question of just ideas to them to sell? I believe that design is simply one part of the cycle of reality. It begins with a marketing brief, uh, a design, manufacturing, and then most important in many ways is the distribution, the ability for people to sell the product, its design, to the end customer. Uh, it's very important, I believe, that the dealers therefore understand what is the intent and what are the benefits to the customer so that they can compete properly and uh, sell in the open market. We know from the chief of Technion that we are presenting or the Technion is presenting Marketplace the first time here in Hungary. Mm -hmm. Tell me a few words about Marketplace. Marketplace is a design that fits into the category of the benching table. This is an exploding area of the furniture business where you're able to save an enormous amount of uh, space and therefore money uh, in uh, having a up to say eight people sitting at the same table. It's a lot of fun. It encourages interaction between the people. Um, they get ideas from each other. They get the buzz. They get a sense of what's going on with everyone. And it's particularly attractive to younger people that are working uh, on laptops and at the same time uh, MP3s, iPods, etc. and want to have that sense of community and a sense of common purpose. So when you put Marketplace into a project you not only attract very bright, well-educated young people, you also save an enormous amount of space, 
time in assembly and you can also reassemble it at another location another time uh, at great speed so I think that it has many different advantages it doesn't take the place of the cellular office or uh, let's say uh, a lovely system like district it's complementary uh, to it you think that that design could achieve a good project on the marketplace work and let's say to the end user we can motivate them with what marketplace will bring you smiling and good working people. Mm. Yes, I really think so. Uh, when you see how the installations are going today you'll notice that um, it fits very well into uh, I would say a happy cultural, a happy corporate culture. Um, the type of projects that we're getting on are uh, things usually connected with the digital age. Uh, everything from net jets to uh, very large corporations that um, need to outfit uh, thousands of people and want to do it very quickly and in a cost-effective uh, manner. What is your message from the young designers in Hungary? Keep working, have fun, imagine and go for it.